he realized that uh, places like Harvard are fantastic for studying aging because um, Harvard, like other private universities, never lets go of their alumni. So until you, the day you die, they're asking you for money on a regular basis. <laughs> and, and so, they're, um, um, and so he, he got the Alumni Association, the, the Harvard Development Office, to let him follow a series of Harvard alumni from several years and can keep asking them in questions about their physical activity levels and also their diet and whether they smoked and stuff like that. And then he tracked them for 25, 30 years. And what he found was that the alumni, we've after you corrected for every factor you could think of, that as, you, as the alumni got older, the effect of physical activity on their health outcomes was bigger and bigger. So alumni who were in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, for example, who were, were exercising you know, four or five times a week, they had about 20% lower death rates. By the time they got to their 60s and 70s, the alumni who were exercising more had 50% lower death rates. So as you get older, so what, and this has been replicated again many times, but what he showed was that as you get older, exercise becomes more, not less important for maintaining your health. 